morning and welcome to CBS News Mornings. It is 7 a.m. here in New York City. I'm Nikki Batiste in for Anne Marie Green. And here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. The FBI captured an Air National Guardsman who's suspected of leaking top U.S. documents online. Everything we know about the 21 year old as the investigation intensifies. We're hearing from the family of a detained Wall Street Journal reporter for the first time since his arrest in Russia. Hear what his parents have to say coming up. And we're diving into all things Space Force. I'll talk to one of the agency's top officials about threats from China and Russia, the war in Ukraine, and key U.S. satellites. It's a conversation you will not want to miss. Plus, catching a flight to Italy, Portugal, Paris, or Iceland all sounds pretty amazing on this Friday. But as we inch closer to summer, prices will only start to rise unless you know how to score a deal. We'll fill you in later this hour. And 60 Minutes reveals Google's never-before-seen AI technology that can turn text into video. However, with these new advances comes new possible threats. It will be possible with AI to create, uh, you know, a video easily where it could be Scott saying something or me saying something and we never said that and it could look accurate. But, you know, at a societal scale, you know, it can cause a lot of harm. There are deeper risks people worry about, uh, you know, which is at some point, does humanity lose control of the technology it's developing? We'll show you how Google is preparing for the potential danger of realistic looking fakes. But we begin with new details about the Massachusetts man accused of leaking classified Pentagon documents online. 21-year-old National Guardsman Dak, Jack, Jack Tashira is expected to appear in court today. FBI agents arrested him yesterday at his home. He is charged with unauthorized removal and transmission of classified information. Jared Hill has more.